We've all been trying to figure out how to take better photos at home, but what about downgrading the quality, upgrading the memory, and upgrading the fun as well? Today we're talking FaceTime photo challenge on Instagram. That was a mouthful. Let me take it one more time. The FaceTime photo challenge on Instagram, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to host your own FaceTime photo shoot my behind the scenes, where the inspiration came from, and a couple of examples of the photos and how to lead the charge when it comes to content creation and being a creative in quarantine. Let's get to it. Oh my gosh, FaceTime sessions have been so cool. I literally first saw it because Gigi Hadid did it for like Vogue magazine and I was like, that's a, such a cool idea. Uh, a good old case of the model mix-up. It was actually Bella Hadid and understandably so that this mix-up happened because they are also sisters. Hi sisters! Now the post that Italian Vogue and Bella Hadid had made I found really interesting because they were talking all about their experience. The day before the shoot, Haley and I tested out poses together on FaceTime. This is always our process, but not within the confinement of a cell phone screen. It was pretty hilarious. Then we called Bella Hadid and did a fitting. It was fun to have the intimacy of the three of us. Everyone's opinions were considered and lots of jokes always. When we actually started shooting, it was quite funny. I would call Bella back from my computer because the quality was better with two people. Haley would then call Lauren's phone and they would put Haley and I side by side so that we could both see a similar frame. Haley and I could not see each other, but being the loud New Yorkers we are, we had no problem hearing each other. And again, it says that this will be available on the newsstands in April, but I've been seeing in grocery stores, there are like no technical newsstands, like magazines have been pulled. That's the press, baby. The press. And there's nothing you can do about it. You'll probably catch this online. If there is a link available, I will put it in the description box below. But let's get to actually setting up your phone, how to do it, how the person on the other side of the phone has to be and how you have to be. And then we will get into tips. And I actually wanna show you all the behind the scenes from our shoot with Ray and a couple of things that Ray said as well. So you must have your settings for FaceTime live photos turned on. You can find this in your FaceTime setting and it is so easy, you just have to turn it on and you have to make sure that both the photographer and the person getting their photo taken has that on. Once you take a photo, it's actually gonna send you a notification notifying both parties that a screenshot was taken. I think that one thing we all need to like get over a little bit is thinking that we need fancy gear in order to create really cool things. So I would say this is like the perfect opportunity for young entrepreneurs who are like just starting their businesses to be like, no excuses, I can get started right now. Cool. So bring your nose a little closer and your forehead. Cute. Really close your eyes, yeah. This room makes me nostalgic of your old apartment, Amanda. <laughs> oh. God, Ray, do you know what I was thinking today? I was actually like legit getting ready and I was like, I am so mad at myself. I didn't have Ray come over and we didn't do like stuff in that bathroom and like stuff like that because that bathroom was so nice. Ray, my hair is just getting so long, so long. <laughs> I think that's what we're gonna do. It's a great idea to set up that pre-shoot call with your photographer, show them a space, pick out a few outfits, establish a mood for the shoot. Even Ray did like a mood board before we actually set up our shoot. We always do that on a normal basis when we shoot together, but for this, it really helped, especially if you have someone on the other line, if you are the photographer watching, who doesn't really know how to be because you're not gonna be able to, to be there to manually manipulate how they look. You're gonna have to do all this verbally. So if I go like this, like this, and then tilt the mirror so that it's like a little bit up, and then Amanda's gonna try and just stand in that. It's been said in some of the articles that the front or back camera doesn't really make a difference, so we opted for the back camera. You can definitely use a tripod, but one of the things that we found so hilarious was actually just picking up things around the house. We didn't have a tripod that had the capability to hold a phone. And Ray actually did one of these shoots with a friend before this process, and they said it didn't really help that much anyways because they had to angle it at certain angles. So what we ended up using was a tissue box at one point, we ended up using a plant, we ended up using our like Dungeons and Dragons books, like all of these things that were just around the house we ended up using. And uh, I would just love to see the behind the scenes creativity of you guys if you do do the photo challenge. Maybe add that to a swipe Hi, to the hilarious Hi, things that you I did you. in just getting your phone set up because it, it is half of the creativity. Tell us when. Alright, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Peace! <laughs> I, I thought you were actually gonna hit! Oh, I hit you in the face! A tip for 
are shooting videos or even shooting photos, always a suggestion to look straight into the lens because if I'm looking at myself in the display screen versus looking at the lens, you can 100% tell and it's the exact same on FaceTime, which is hilarious because I'm sure we're all in like our Zoom calls with businesses and things like that, just staring at ourselves on the screen because oh, we just love looking at ourselves. But of course, in this kind of scenario, look at the lens because it's gonna make your photo look a lot better and make sure if you have a model, you are telling them to do that as well. I'm dead. Look at this tripod. Oh my God. Yeah, that's perfect. The problem is we got this couch here. So let me just get something I can, oh, okay. I'm gonna get a, uh, a uh, don't worry, I got you. Okay. <laughs> you fell so much there. You dropped her. <laughs> yeah, you fell a good amount there. Do you want it less of the chalkboard? FaceTime is a great way to catch up with friends, but honestly, it is the worst with lighting. If you were beside a really bright window, if you were wearing white, sometimes it will overexpose just like that. So an idea, tap on the screen where you want it to focus. And then also being in a well-lit room because it also doesn't do well under low light, it'll be even grainier, which adds to some of the the love for these shots that they aren't great quality but they're great memories. I mean, just taking more shots to set up. Just a little video. Yeah. <laughs> Try to have a well-lit room and even doing this on a cloudy day is actually really great because it's like the sky is a natural softbox coming through the window. Question. Tell me what you think about me. Yeah, as like a creative working from home now, like what is your main goal? Ooh. Working from home, I feel like my goal is to keep like reminding myself why I'm doing this. So it gets so hard when you're not like interacting with people in person to get validation. So it's like being able to self validate and finding ways to be creative just for the sake of like making myself feel good instead of for the sake of making money or turning my business into more of a profit. So like getting back into making art in like different ways. So like painting and cooking and drawing and like graphic design and stuff that I never really had time to do before. Okay, so your photographer on the other side is gonna have all these pictures, right? Well, they can send them to you, you can edit them, but a great idea is definitely to edit these photos after because you're going to be able to manipulate exposure, shadows, contrast, grain, sharpness. You can make them black and white. Some of those have been some of my favorites from this shoot. This has been a really cool way and I've seen a lot of people as well online doing the FaceTime photo challenge, they've been doing a collage, having them all edited similar in a similar tone. They are stunning, and this is something I definitely want to add to my feed. This is Amanda's impression of dancing around. <laughs> It'll be this. <laughs> this is like Amanda's go-to or dancing around. And then this from back of Babcock is always like this. Okay, so what is okay. what is one thing that you've learned so far in uh, quarantine? That I need a connection to thrive. So like human interaction is so important. Um, and I never realized how like extroverted I was and how much like I appreciated just like seeing my family every day and like how privileged I am to be able to like do those things and have them so close to home. Um, so yeah, I definitely learned that. How's that? Yeah, that looks good. I would just maybe move the shoes at the bottom. Yep. Or you can actually leave them. It's kind of more real. Literally like two pixels, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, Scotty, can you line up just so we can make sure? Ray, was it this step or the other one? It was up one more. Oh, wait, that was the one. No, yeah, yeah, that looks good. I forgot you were leaning back, yeah. Last but not least, if you guys are doing this challenge, like just have fun. This is not one of those things where it's like, okay, you're gonna get your next LinkedIn profile picture and you have to be all serious or whatever. Do people use LinkedIn? What you can really do is just embrace it, have fun, be silly, like throw things. Sometimes having some motion in those pictures is cool too. Like it's not gonna be great quality. You're gonna have a motion blur, but that adds to just the aesthetic of it all aesthetic of it all and those are also some of the ones that I love the most so love you guys so much hope that you try it my handle is at below the blonde so on Instagram I would love if you guys watch this video and give it a try I honestly just want to see how yours turn out as well 
and if some of these tips helped you. I love you guys so much. I know this is a tough time, but uh, we're going to get it through it together. And technology, one of those things that was kind of pulling us apart, is now bringing us together. And that is so beautiful. We'll catch you in the next video. Oh my god, we love you. I love you guys. Thank you for so much for doing this with us. Bye, and right, we hope to hug you so soon. <laughs> and of course, walk Ginsburg when you are shooting weddings. Yes, of course. That's great. Okay, have a good night, guys. Bye. Bye.